Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to Map Making with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B, you're very, very welcome. And welcome back to Duvo, the provisional name for my second ever map build. How's it coming along, Bon Bon? I've not watched it for a few months. Well, the answer is very nicely indeed. In fact, if you look at the map as an overview, you pretty much get a very good feel of how it's going to look when it's finished now. Uh, there's no major surprises, no major changes. There's no hidden mountains that I'm going to pop in at the very last second. It's all looking very close to how it's going to look when it's finished. There is a lot of work that requires doing first, uh, but uh, uh, it's coming. It's coming. It's very, very nearly there. So tell me a little bit about you. Why are you doing all this underwater work, Bon Bon? We're not building on the underwater. That's correct. That's correct. For those of you that haven't been following the series, uh, watching this for the first time and wondering why I'm doing lots of underwater stuff, well, there's going to be a multiple ways to attack this map. One of them, of course, is vanilla. And there'll be a one-click collection so that you don't have to subscribe to all the detailing bits and bobs. And all that will show up are the, what I would class as the essential items. So that's option A. Option B, switch all your mods on. <laughs> Use all your custom assets, detail it. And that is how I'm intending the map to be played, actually. And that's how I'll be playing it myself, uh, assuming I get the time to play it myself, as a detailing map. Uh, it's going to be a very pretty little map. Uh, there's not the world's largest build plane, so you'll not be building a huge city. And you'll be able to do something quite, quite sweet and quite pretty on this map, I'm hoping. <coughs> so, uh, so that's option B. But there's also an option B+, plus, or even an option A+, plus if you want to play vanilla. I'm guessing you could, you could still use the Tides mod. The Tides mod. TPB's Tides mod is... Uh, uh, ah, this is... You, if you were here last couple of days, you'll have seen me trying to get these uh, river mouths to meet with the... Uh, yeah, that, I'm doing that again today, guys. We're getting closer to it looking right. In fact, by the end of today, it's very close to being right. It'll only need a little bit of tweaking. So you will have to watch me do all this a third time or a fourth time. Um, <laughs> you'll just need some minor tweaking there. Anyway... What's I was saying? Yes, the Tides mod. Right, when the uh, Tides mod is operational, and I will include all the settings required in the description so that it will work, you won't have to work it out yourself. You just switch the Tides mod on, make sure the settings are as I put on the description, which will be the vanilla settings for the Tides mod. So you probably won't have to change anything at all. Set the tides, set the tides running, and the uh, the the water will come in and go out and this bay that's uh, well, behind us, this bay that we're backing onto at the moment, uh, a lot of this bay will become uh, visible when the uh, tides go out, which is why I'm doing a lot of underwater work, because I want there to be operational rivers that become um, visible and, and, and a working river, obviously, once the tide goes out. I want it also to look like it's real as opposed to um, some some map makers who just like, want to see if you can make it work. No, I want it to actually feel yeah, actual, an actual thing. And one of the things I, I found up working with with this map is the actual natural water flow. Because as you'll know, if you built a map before, the water pushes in from the outside of the map. And that causes water flow towards the center square. And there are places uh, around here, like these islands that you, you just nipped out a screen at the bottom there, uh, with the bridges running across, linking up my main islands there. There's a fairly reasonable water flow pushing in from the outside towards those, which um, actually, I'm going to be honest with you, it's a bit of a bugbear actually, because the way that I've got the river set on this map, uh, which is where the main water flow should be coming from, is on the wrong side of those islands, uh, with regards to where the water is flowing anyway. So I'm, I'm having to be a little bit creative to make it look like it is correct and it is working correctly, even though, strictly speaking, technically, on a technical level, people will get technical because I know that they will want to mark me down for stars when they rate my map <laughs> but on a technical level um, it 
it's not strictly accurate water flow but it's going to be working water flow the river will actually be working it'll just where it looks like it should be flowing out it'll actually kind of be flowing in because unless I actually put a barrier around the entire exterior of the map to stop the water from coming in which will be a bit of a well it'll be a bit awkward when you need the tides to be coming in and out because you do need that it, it wouldn't work basically that's what I'm saying so today what I'm doing is I'm uh, I'm drawing the sand down to the edges uh, down to where the uh, where the where the coastal waters reach the ocean waters um, I will be probably the next episode uh, running back I'm also going to flatten some of these areas out around this underwater there because they will look green they'll poke poke up looking green um, but yes I'll uh, I'll be running this the soften tool the smooth tool just to um just to gently ease some of these lines down a bit which may mean that I may have to go over some areas with sand yet again but uh, it's getting closer and closer to actually be working and operational and that's what really matters so these areas here I'm making them look like see the way I'm making them look like rivers like the deep water running through there it's, uh, and that one actually probably is okay uh, it's the first one the um, the, vo the uh, viaduct's not viaduct's not the word I'm looking for ah causeway the causeway bridge viaduct it was a word I was looking for the other day and uh, it only came to me when uh, I can't remember I uh, was it uh, construction gaming shout out construction gaming it was you I'm sure it was <laughs> it reminded me in the comments that a viaduct and an aqueduct are two completely different things of course they are but then when you open your mouth and you try and add ad lib <laughs> and speak live things just do not pour out of your mouth which is where multi um like a, a panel show works much much better because i go oh what's that thing and it usually somebody else on the panel will go yes that's a viaduct bonbon you know that don't you and i'll go yes i do know that <laughs> I feel like a complete schmuck. So thank you very much, Construction Gaming, for giving me that missing word from my vocabulary. It was only temporarily missing. It, it would have come back to me um, had I continued thinking about it. But uh, when you're when you're narrating over a show, trying to trying to keep things interesting, and also on top of that, of course, um, let people know exactly what's going on on screen as well as talk about what the what the plans are and pacing it just about right uh, i'm not an expert on this i'm i'm, I'm bluffing mate <laughs> i'm bluffing <laughs> does it <he> show <laughs> just a little bit eh? <laughs> anyways yes so uh so anyway the underwater sections are coming together there are a few areas outside of um, outside of the bay that we'll need working on, like the uh, Crescent Moon Island. Um, in fact, I went to uh, to do some Crescent Moon Island work on the on the end of today's show, uh, which is uh, which got cut because for some reason, at that point, I don't know if it was my mouse button or the game or something, but uh, it wouldn't actually let me put down any sand, which is weird. Um, it will let me put down sand. It just wouldn't then you know how sometimes the game doesn't want to behave well oh, that was here that was me today uh not a big problem not a big problem uh, it was a good time to stop anyway to be honest with you um i've also got uh, at low tide a little bit of land that pops up on the side of the map out in the fog um i've got to get rid of that somehow and now here's me trying to work sorry here's me working out where the rivers would go as a natural it's a natural path and putting sand over the areas where the river wouldn't go i mean these areas will still be flooded and uh, we're talking about uh, aesthetic tricks tricking of the eye to make it feel like a a, a natural a natural um um evolution of of land <laughs> help help construction gaming what's the word i'm looking for <laughs> uh, anyway yes um no 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 don't worry about it it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter so yes um that's that's what i'm doing at the moment is is basically filling in the sand where i feel that it kind of needs it well another area it's going to need doing as well it's not a big problem is down here this this harbor 
wall I need to bring the uh, the lat sorry the the seabed the ocean bed right up to it because there will be shipping there at the moment when the tide goes out um, there's sand exposed and you can't park your boat up against it which is not the plan you need to do something very similar of course with the crescent moon island because the crescent moon island will have uh, docks well the potential for docks at one end well, i want to leave that option available to the to the city builder if they so choose to do so however down here i'm making sure it is a docks area because there is only this one place on the mainland that with uh, with road and rail connections that you will be able to put your docks down and it's out in the fog it's not intended to be a big a big industrial map more of a more of a park life map i guess and um the wetlands i think will make a very good park life area <laughs> very nice indeed now one other thing that you could do of course when playing the map is land reclamation why not there is um plenty of opportunity i would suggest for putting, uh, placing dikes, building areas up, and reclaiming areas of land. Um, it's it's an option. I'm not saying it's something you have to do, but um, with the tides coming in and out, so having those dikes up to hold the uh, land, hold the, the water back, I think that'd be a pretty cool thing. And playing it as a live game with the tides coming in and out, you might have to pace and time your dike building and if you're playing with um, the money set you know, um, not unlimited money but actually playing within the uh, restrictions of the actual game that could add an extra tier of interest and and skill i guess um to uh, to your city build so anyway yeah plenty of options plenty of options with this map um the more the more i'm building it the more i'm thinking of i need to uh, also flatten out a little bit here you can see a little bit of underwater looks like florida keys there don't they don't want those there that's glitching under there that is not what i'm after we will we will level that down flatten it out and we'll hit the smooth smooth tool in the next episode just to get everything clean and tidy again so yes today's episode lots of underwater work a little bit more underwater work next time around plus i do need to uh to uh do multiple tests again make sure that everything is working it's these things just don't fall into place you know you have to go in and you go back and test it and make sure it's working and then go back and test it some more i've got some more detailing a little bit more foliage work as well to do not a huge amount though most of the forestry work is now done on the map um just uh there's a few areas just feel look and feel a bit flat and dull and um just want to add a little bit more interest to those areas not too much just a little bit and uh, and it's all going to come to life um, a little bit of uh, intersection detailing as well possibly not too much though not too much I don't want to overkill that would be uh, that would just be too much the interest isn't meant to be on the mainland it is meant to be on the island and the island has plenty of interest already well feature areas I've got to start looking at the um, the one with the glowing white ring that a few of you have seen <laughs> on the mainland. Uh, yeah, I've deleted the ring. It was it was a test. I haven't gone back to see if the test actually works, but it was a test, and I will go back. And uh, here's me trying to work out once again where the deep areas of water on this uh, in this area would be. This wouldn't be part of the river system, kind of cut off, visually cut off, although strictly speaking, not cut off. Um, and I'm, I'm just sort of like running the uh, running the sand tool over the areas, just working out would the water come down here? Is that too narrow now? Uh, see, I'm, I'm narrowing it up. I'm thinking I'd like the water to go into that bay. That'd be quite nice, having the water going into that little bay there and so on. I know this is only the sand tool, not the terrain tool, but I'm just trying to work it out. I'm just trying to work it out. And it'll, it comes together. I, I, I'm going to cover a huge chunk of what you see left there. It, it's still not right. I'm still not happy with it. So I feel, let's be bold. Now, nah, that would cover in. That would cover in then, if that was all covered in. Would this area be covered in? Possibly. You see, I'm trying to work these areas out. Uh, what's, what's a deep area? And then here, I'm thinking, ah, this would still be deep, but not connected. So there we have a, like a little banana-shaped little deep area there, little deep trench. And here... 
would that go up there or would that want to merge onto the banana? So I'm looking at it going, no, that would merge onto the banana. So I'm going to do that to make it look like it merges into the banana. See what I'm doing here? All the aesthetic curves. And here, go, no, actually, no, that now that looks like a penis. That's got to go. <laughs> you, you see where I'm coming from here? You see where I'm coming from? It's just playing it by, by visual. It has to come in, and then that would be more, more aubergine shaped at that end there. <laughs> it kind of looks like it would merge back onto the onto the lake at the top as well. So anyway, that's uh, that's about it. We are about at the end of today's show. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Do join me next week for more map making. There won't be a map making tomorrow because tomorrow will be the viewers' choice top ten from October. The best ten maps as uh, voted by you guys from my daily show Watch Map. Anyway, thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Join me tonight, tomorrow, yesterday, and next Wednesday too. That'd be great. Have a great day. I'll see you very, very soon.